We're here at Citrix Synergy in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're speaking with Pivot3. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at the uh, show? Yes, thanks, Brian. So uh, I'm Vikram Bela Purkar. I work, work at Pivot3. I lead Pivot3's uh, data center solutions. So Pivot3 is a, is a leader in hyper-converged infrastructure. Hyper-converged infrastructure, or HCI, as it's commonly known, is a, is a modern way of building modular, scalable data center by collapsing the traditional storage and server silos. So that's what Pivot3 does. Uh, many of the, you'll see many of the data centers are adopting this technology to simplify their data centers, bring in modularity, and, and make it more efficient. A lot of Pivot3's customers choose Pivot3 for their most mission critical deployments on these uh, hyper-converged systems. And how do you work together with Citrix? Yeah, so we are a long-standing partner of Citrix. Uh, for example, we recently completed a reference architecture exercise for Citrix, uh, Citrix uh, virtual desktops and Windows 10. Uh, we are showing uh, market-leading results uh, in, in that reference architecture. So yeah, we have a long history of working with Citrix. Uh, we recently did a, did a press release with Citrix as well. And we're looking at uh, you know, increasing amount of good market opportunities direct, uh, working with Citrix. And how does your HCI solution work uh, for BDI? Yes, yeah, so uh, there are a couple of things about our HCI solution that make it really a uh, little different from other alternatives out there, and I think they have uh, relevance in VDI as well. There are, there are a couple of the three things we do that are, I think, very relevant to uh, VDI. One is that uh, we allow customers to reduce the infrastructure footprint that they need to support their VDIs. Uh, that, that's important in order to bring the cost down. The second thing we do is we provide an easy policy-based mechanism uh, for our customers to uh, ensure and guarantee the user performance and workload uh, performance. And thirdly, uh, VDI implementation usually grow in phases, and we have a platform that really allows you to grow flexibly, simply, and uh, be able to manage uh, your large-scale uh, uh, HCI deployments very easily. I can show you some of those features on the screen over here. Oh, that would be great. So what are you going to show us? So what we have here, you know, we are showing a three-node uh, Pivot3 three HCI system here. I'm going to show you some of the uh, capabilities that this system offers in order to uh, you know, deliver better outcomes for VDI. So what you're seeing here is the, these are the three nodes uh, in a Pivot3 flash system. Now just to make it bigger, you'll see these three nodes. Uh, I've highlighted this uh, node number one. What I'm showing here is there are different types of resources here. There are some SSD drives here, but there's also NVMe resource. Now this is the NVMe, this, is, uh, this NVMe is very actively managed by Pivot3. And so it's not a dump here, it's very intelligently managed by Pivot3, and really allows us to overcome the IO bottleneck that you see in most VDI environment. And as a result, if, we don't, if we're not bound by IOs, we can deliver more desktops per node, and as a result, customers can uh, see a drastic reduction in their hardware footprint. Just to give you an idea, you know, typically we see about 30 to 40 percent less hardware footprint with our solution compared to other alternatives, and that's because this NVMe optimized data path really overcomes the I/O bottleneck and allows the system to perform. The next part of it is that the, the, the policy-based management of user experience. Right? So we have these policies you can see here from policy one through policy five. These are quality of service policies. And you see they, they, they monitor an extensive set of SLAs and, and deliver those SLAs uh, predictably. So this really allows you to classify your workloads or your, your user pools based on their priority and their importance to the business. So here in this example, you'll see that we have uh, four, four, uh, four different data stores here. The first one you see is where the master images are, and that's, that, that thing is tagged to policy number one. So that's going to get a really high performance uh, because it's a master image and we need that. The second volume you see here is a power user volume. These are uh, very important users of the company and they need to uh, get good user experience in order for them to be productive uh, at their jobs. Right? They, are, they are also tagged at policy one. The knowledge worker, which is essentially a back office staff, they're doing important work uh, uh, and, and hence they're given the policy of two, business critical policy. And the last one you see here is the task worker. These are our call centers, call center workers. Uh, these are not driving a lot of uh, uh, load. Uh, these are also the least critical users of the system. And so we have tagged them to policy four. And what I want to point out though, these are not reservations. These are really prioritization. That means if one of the, if the power user uh, pool is not driving any load, then the, then, then the lower tier users will get the benefit of higher performing resources. So that's how we really simplify how you can manage your user performance, user experience, uh, uh, without having to do a lot of manual intervention. This is also very flexible. You can change these policies on the fly 
and you will see the, the noticeable difference in performance immediately. You can also schedule these policies uh, change. For example, you can schedule this uh, task work, uh, worker policy to change from policy 4 to policy 2 in half hours in the US. Say for example, after 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. in the morning, you can schedule this to be at policy 2 and then uh, uh, lower back to policy 4. That makes it really easy for administrators to use these policies effectively and, and guarantee and guard the user experience. Third thing I'm going to show you is the, the scalability and, and uh, the flexibility this platform offers. So what you see here are different form factors. So the platform is available uh, in 2U as well as 1U form factor. It's optimized for Edge, Robo, uh, uh, you know, uh, as well as cloud data centers. You see you know, there, are, there is a wide range of resource uh, uh, configurations the, pla the platform is available. You can choose the capacity that makes sense for you. You choose the processors that make sense for you. You can also customize your RAM as well as NVMe resources. Lastly, what we see here is we have uh, specialized uh, nodes as well. So you have hybrid flash uh, uh, HCI nodes that are standard HCI nodes, but if you're trying to address a specific bottleneck in VDI, most often, in our case, it's most often a compute, you can use compute optimized nodes in order to get more compute and, and just uh, optimize your cost structure. In, many, in some cases, customers who want to add just storage but not compute capacity, they can use storage optimized node. You also have GPU optimized nodes uh, in order to optimize the, the engineering, the graphic intensive uh, use cases. And this platform is, is easy to scale, it's predictable to scale, you can start small, and as you grow, you can predictably grow your user account with it. At a large scale, you can start treating it as a pod. You can have many, many pods delivering these virtual desktops, and you can manage these pods from a single user interface. These pods can be distributed around the globe, and they still can be managed together as one set of resources. So that really makes it simple for uh, enterprise to start small, scale predictably, and at a very large scale also, not complicate how they manage their infrastructure. So just to summarize, right, what, what are we doing that is useful for VDI? We're really able to deliver, uh, you know, we're able to lower the hardware required, and in turn, the cost required to support your VDI. We're able to ensure the user experience is always superior, and we're, we're able to provide a flexible uh, scalability as well as simple manageability at a, at a large scale to the customers. That's, that's how Pivot3, I think, optimizes VDI. So where can people go if they want to find out more information about Pivot3? Yes, I would encourage people to go to pivot3.com slash solutions. There they'll find information about VDI, but also lots of other use cases, including big data, including databases, and including data center modernization. We have lots of technical assets there as well, including the reference architecture that I just mentioned, Citrix along with Windows 10. Great, well thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blog. Thank you, Brian.